after the game on Saturday night. It was bad. It was unacceptable. Uh, it's such a great game with tremendous tradition, and we hadn't held up our end for the last two years. We won four out of the last eight, but we've lost three in a row, and the trend's turned, and we need to turn it back in the right direction next year. That's the type of game that bring the best and worst out in people, and we didn't respond well as coaches or, or players. Coaches and players are really disappointed. We're not dumb. No, it was bad. Uh, we're very competitive people. You learn from the opportunity. It's my job as a leader, a role model for those guys and coaches to step up and go back to work, make sure they understand that it's uh, uh, an opportunity to get better, but we missed a, an opportunity during the ball game that uh, we let a lot of people down. Let a lot of people down in that room and let a lot of people at their, our Texas fans administration let them down as well. Practice was upbeat last night, and I told the players you can, uh, you can look at different options if you want to. Um, we could all quit and just not have a game this weekend. The loss would probably be mad. Um, but is that an option? No. Um, so would we rather win the game? Yeah. So let's go back and work, and, and let's cut out the negative distractions in your life. And if you can't handle criticism, don't look for it, because I've been doing this a long time, and it's, it's going to be it's going to be negative out there this week. So just understand that, and that's part of the deal. There will be some people that will say, uh, he thought about retiring before, and he may quit. And I told them that um, if somebody's telling you to quit, don't. Because in your life, if you start quitting, you're, you're a quitter. So you need to compete. And, and you didn't sign up for just the good days. If you wanted to go to a school that didn't care and the expectations weren't high, uh, there's a lot of people that got beat Saturday. Nobody cares. They, don't even, they got one writer they have to talk to today, and uh, he's really not interested. Um, so I, I, when you come to a place like this, it is really important that we win. And when we lose, it is really important to people that we get it fixed. And, and that's what we need to do. And I didn't respond very well, I told them, in 2010. Uh, but I have my energy. I'm, I'm moving forward, and, and we're darn sure going to get this thing fixed. I would think Bailey would try to run it some based on what they've seen out of us the last three weeks. And their offense will be more like West Virginia and, and um, Oklahoma State. Uh, I saw, I looked at the stats of the West Virginia game, and I think the running back, 13, had 71 yards. So, you know, it's just ridiculous for us to, to be giving up those kind of yards on defense. But um, I've got a tremendous amount of pride, and I am really competitive. And I'm not going to let something stay that, that's not good. It's going to get fixed.